we enjoy the music. Greeting my fellow lovers of tunes and welcome back to another Community Friday reaction video here on the channel where we enjoy the music of course. Now, I'm in a little bit of a predicament because the most requested song which was almost every single comment and it got the most likes by far by like leaps and bounds above any other video was brothers brothers and arms now we did that one already and to spare myself emotionally and all of you guys out there as well i won't be doing it again so i thought i was gonna do a runner up now there wasn't a lot but this one seemed very interesting it was from luna now we did what we ain't got last week for the community friday now apparently this ties in some somehow i'm not entirely sure <laughs> exactly how but it's a story time with them um, so it's a live video and i thought it would be fun to do this one today and then we do another long one tomorrow these things are so awesome and there are so many new ones so maybe we can do one of the newer concerts tomorrow but i'm um, very excited to see what this is all about and yeah uh, let's just get into it well, there was there was a lady who uh, came to our show in Cleveland, and then she came to our show again in Columbus, and she said, "You did story time. Will you do it again?" I said, "Sure." So then I did story time for them, and it just seemed a shame to leave you folks out. That was a good story. Thank you. Uh, by a round of applause, how many y'all have been at all three of our Ohio shows? I know there's so many. Okay. A little less than I thought, but you can tell the same jokes. Yeah. Uh, how many of y'all were there last night? Woo! Okay. Woo! Perfect. Well, we had a song last night that we're not going to do tonight, and it's not for the following reason. Welcome to the show, folks. We're just in time for story time, that's it. <laughs> we had a song last night called What We Ain't Got. And like I said, <laughs> it's all been already. We're not going to do it tonight, we just made a few changes to the show tonight. Keeping it fresh for all of you who come to multiple shows. So if you like that song and you want to hear it, it's on our YouTube channel. But. That song starts with just me singing all by myself, solo a cappella. You'd think that's the idea. Yeah, just wait. And it often is a good idea. Now, a lot of folks that were at the show last night thought I was emotional during that song. Myself included. <laughs> I went from one side to the other and was just scared. And I was experiencing an emotion of sorts. <laughs> you see, the beatbox solo was right before that song, and we were hanging out down, downstairs. The dressing room was down a flight of stairs and then down the hallway. And then I sauntered back up, and I was ready to go on stage to do this song. I realized my mic was downstairs back in the dressing room. I guess I'm not in the best shape. Because <laughs> I thought, oh, I can just run down there, literally, grab my mic, run back up, and pull off one verse of a ballad all by myself. And I was wrong. We do a lot of different songs, and folks seem to appreciate that, and they say that, you know, they listen to the songs multiple times, and they take on new meanings every time. And last night, what we got became about oxygen for me. <laughs> so, go find that on YouTube. Would you be interested in, in recreating that first verse for him right now? 
I mean, I've been casting your Austin State kind too. I think the most important part was my inner monologue because, like, no, you know, when we break on stage, we break on stage. And so Rob is over here on my left, and I'm sitting here. Tim gets out here and he starts, and he does the first line. He's like, um, "What's the first?" Line? Yeah. We 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 all gonna go for the time. That was about as good as it sounded too. And I thought, oh my god, he's out of breath. I'm about to look at Rob. And then he started the next line, right? And I was like, I better not look, because if I look, Rob's going to lose it. And so I was just like, I was so close. Oh. And so, and I was still like, oh, Tim's just out of breath. And then he did the next line, and he was like, oh, our favorite doors. And he only holds it out. Our favorite doors are always locked. Yeah. But this time he goes, our favorite doors are always locked. <laughs> I took on this real love logging <laughs> thing, and then I immediately I'm like, did he get a text message in the break? Is he like, something bad happened? Is he getting emotional right now? I, we can't stop if he's getting emotional. I've got to hold it together. I've got to hold it together. Meanwhile, Rob's over here going, <laughs> Oh, man. It's so funny. <laughs> it's normally a very touching moment in the show. And a lot of people thought it was. <laughs> oh, this lady came up to me during the, the autograph session after the show. And she said, were you emotional? Or was the fog getting to you? And I just said, bit of both. <laughs> and if she's here tonight, now you know the truth and nothing but the truth. Thank you for coming. And I hope you guys enjoyed story time with Tim. <laughs> that was actually absolutely brilliant. I can I can only imagine. I can picture myself the, how this whole thing unfolded. Him running down the stairs, going back up, being winded, and trying to sing that song. I mean, it is a sort of emotional song if you interpret it right, but. I mean, I can just imagine. And these guys, they always crack me up. You know, whenever something derails, it's always between Rob and Austin trying to keep together. But I think Rob is the one that if he loses it, the whole team is going to lose it. It's absolutely so, so much fun. And it's such an interesting story as well. I mean, to be tied in with that song. But now, in saying that, I think we should do tomorrow that version of the song i know that luna also tagged that particular one but i'm very curious now to see what happened so i'm i'm gonna go and have a look if we can find that one then for tomorrow's video but absolutely awesome i loved it so thank you very much luna for suggesting it it's so interesting to see these little things in the shows and how it derails and everything like that but you know what, what was also fun about it is the way that he talks to the audience and says that a lot of people has told him that the songs mean so much to them and the more they listen to it the more the meaning change and i always thought to myself is that am i the only one or is, are there more people like that because it's it's such a i think it depends on the mood that you're in probably or that current state or the day but it is so awesome so it's so fun to know that it's not only you and me and a few other people but the community feels like that as well i i wish i could say like some of the people in the crowd that they were there for all the shows one day we will attend the show um it just it has to happen it just has to happen and then I, i'm sure we'll have a blast but Thank you very much for Geneva. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. If I'm not, I do apologize for uploading this. Um, it's absolutely awesome. Thank you for... Oh, no, wait. I'm on the wrong video. It's Carolyn. It's Carolyn. <laughs> Thank you, Carolyn. <laughs> Geneva, again, if I'm pronouncing that right, is the one I want to do for tomorrow. Um, but thank you very much for Karen and for uploading this, sharing it with us. It is absolutely awesome. These story times are always so good. And this was the best. It was like sort of a slash story time with Tim and Austin. But absolutely brilliant. So I'm going to go and do the video then for tomorrow, which is the, what we ain't got. 
the derailment one i'm suggest or the one that they're referring to very excited to see that um i hope you guys enjoy this one remember to leave your suggestion suggestion in the comment below um just a word of advice if i can if there's any new videos i normally try to do it the following week like with brothers and arms um i do it that following week in the early week or so on um the same with all of the other groups so if there's some you can still suggest that i mean i will prioritize it but mo most of the times i do try and get to the newer songs but remember to put it down in the comments below like the video or the comment that you would like to see and maybe next week we can feature one of your videos so that's going to be it for me today i hope you guys have a lovely weekend and just relax and offload and just have a good time. I'm going to probably listen to Brothers in Arms again. I've been addicted to that song ever since it came out. But yeah, that's going to be it for me. And then as always, tot morgen. Tot ziens.